Hello boaters, welcome to Narrow Boat Journeys. We're on the Clangothlin Canal. I'm more just on the eastern side of Ellesmere. And in this video, it's a very short and simple one really, I'm just going to move from one side of Ellesmere to the other, passing the boaters' facilities as I go. The canal round here is so busy during the day that I decided I'd make this trip at about 7 o'clock in the evening. Most of the boats will have quietened down now and moored up because I want to go to the water point um, and there's usually a huge queue there, it's, it's very busy, so this, this was a way of more or less guaranteeing that I wouldn't have to queue up. There's lots of good places to moor up around here, but as I mentioned in the previous video, the closer you get to Ellesmere, the busier it gets, and there's the less chance you'll have of finding a good place to stop. Always be on the lookout for overhanging branches. Now there's a short canal arm that leads down to the town of Ellesmere and this is not it. This is Blackwater Marina so you can go in there for supplies that you might need although it's better if you're more up outside here and walk in. Depends what you want to do there really. The arm is just a little bit further on past that bridge. The main course of the canal turns a sharp left here, um, but underneath that white footbridge up ahead is the canal arm that leads down to the Ellesmere town itself. Now there's loads of visitor moorings down there, um, but of course it's often packed out, so you may or may not be able to get a mooring, but you can turn at the far end of it, so you can always go down and have a look. Anyway, I didn't fancy going down the arm, not today, so let's have a quick look on Google Earth, and I'll show you the town of Ellesmere. OK, we're at the bottom of the map, near, very close to the boaters' facilities. The light blue line is the canal arm, with Tesco's at the very end of it. There's more shops in town itself, but look at the lovely mere. It's well worth a walk around there, it's really beautiful. This is the view from the footbridge, looking down the arm. All of these are visitor moorings. And now we go to the far end of the arm where we have Tesco's. This wasn't here 20 years ago, but look how close it is to the canal. You can't get much more convenient than that. And over there is like an old canal warehouse. 
Look at the hole in the wall at the bottom left. I reckon a boat smashed into that. And now looking back up the arm towards the junction. This of course was recorded on a different day. The weather was much nicer. And there's the footbridge again. And there on the left are the Botus facilities, and just beyond that is the Waterways Workyard. On the left here we have several water points, there's also rubbish and L-sand disposal. Now it all looks very quiet doesn't it, but I can assure you that during the day it gets extremely busy here. This will be full up with boats and there are likely to be boats alongside queuing to use this spot. This is why I came here in the evening. Well, that's all done. Time to head on a little bit further. There's plenty of mooring places along here as well. This is the Waterways Workyard. It's still in use. I'm not quite sure what they do here, but they use it as a depot, I guess. If you look under that awning, you can see two large anchors on the wall. I'm not sure what the story is about those. So now my plan is to boat on a little bit further, get past all the moored boats and then just find a nice quiet place to moor up. Somewhere where the cats will be happy to go out. Well, the weather was a bit gloomy today, um, but then it started to rain, and then it got worse and worse.
You sometimes see pipes crossing the canal like this. Usually they're water pipes. having to cut this trip just a little bit short because shortly after this point the rain covered the camera lens to such an extent that the video wasn't really very watchable so I boated on a little bit further from here but not very far and then I moored up. Cats weren't very interested in going out either. The next trip I make will be a bit longer and the weather will be a bit nicer so until then I'll see you next time.